So once again, welcome back to this uh, VS mm-hmm. Studio Code extension series. So now we are going to look at something called as to do. Uh, so let's see the extension to do. How does it help us? Okay. So to do is basically kind of a documentation tool, or you know, it's kind of a reminder tool. Now, if you are working on big projects, you may want to like you know, come back to one particular piece of code, do some testing, add some logic. But at that point of time, you may pause it. So just when you open it up the next day, or uh, so this is a productivity tool. Which immediately you can highlight what you have to do with your code. So, okay. So let's look at. the to do so once we install this it's pretty tr- trusted also so you can highlight to do fix me kind of tool suppose you forgot to review the to do you have added while coding so before you publish the code yeah, i have been wanting to add an extension for a long time that highlights them reminds me that there are notes and things not yet done okay so install this all right we got this thing installed so now i'm going to open up a folder uh, so let's close all folders and open I'll just open up say maybe Oops, a class folder. And quickly come up to here to uh, and look at a class which I may have. Now in this case this is a Salesforce class, Apex program. So here we have some logic over here and uh, maybe let's look at a bigger one. Yeah. And I'll say as per use case three, which is under review. So now, if you go to your notes stall, we have to do. Add a, so once I add a note like this, suppose there is a method which I need to add revenue ca- condition. To. As for use case three, which is under review. So now this is something that I need to uh, make a change, which is as of now under review. So once the change comes, I'll have to do. So to highlight this, what I can do here is I can just say to do and put a colon. So it will immediately start and uh, it will get highlighted over here. Similarly, I can go down over here. If there is a small piece of code, I can say to do need to complete test class for save. Okay. So if I add this, so this is another to do over here. So this is another one. So now when I save this. And now when I close everything, suppose I come back the next day and I just open up and if I, I just want to quickly go over here, so it could be a big piece of you know code. So it this clearly highlights to me like you know what it is, what you have to do. You can also have keywords like fix me. Okay. So a pretty useful tool, uh, and it improves your productivity, especially if you have long lines of code.
all right so that is about the to do tool the next one we are going to look at uh, spell checker tool code spell checker so the next one we are going to look at is a spell checker so you have to search for this code spell checker and install this this one is basically a spell checker that works well with code and documents you know but this works more with uh, for web development but it is a pretty useful tool okay and it reduces your spelling errors and all that which again is a helps you improve improve your programming productivity right so let's take a look at this over here and come back so here suppose we have a spelling mistake and uh, so here it has already identified when i click on this uh, spell that what is this file type it is telling that it's an apex program class of say, uh, type salesforce yeah it is a file type apex and these are the dictionaries that it will refer to for spelling errors okay so let's come back to so you can also enable this okay so we can come back over here and into the file so here so in order to in order to do a spell check you have to control or take all the, the entire section that you want to check for errors and you can see right click and it will say spelling suggestions or spelling okay and uh, So when we come over here, there are two errors here. One is a class and one is a static. There are two error words. So I'm going to select all of this. So it automatically this bulb appears over here, you know. So it is going to ask me like what we want to fix with tab nine or we want to use this one. So here it, uh, the spell checker shows us like what are the possible options. So similarly here. Okay, and this can also build a dictionary if you want of all the words that you are correcting. So basically, spell checker basically is a uh, more of a spell checking tool. It doesn't do a code compilation and all, or correctness of co code, but it just checks. It just checks for your spelling mainly. But quite a useful tool. Oh. Chat, chat. 